we tried to get a train and uh during ted it's really hard to find tickets it was super expensive at least for us um ordered the tickets waited 24 hours and we're like okay we're we're leaving we're gonna leave yeah um got an email saying it was denied we're like well i guess we're not taking the train bummer i know he really wanted to take a train so then got on the website ordered a bus a sleeper bus now during the time of recording this it's still it's the end of Tet, so everybody's going back home to their family and stuff. So we wait our 24 hours to get confirmation on the bus, and we're like, okay, yeah, we're leaving tomorrow. Gonna hop on a bus. Everything's fine. Uh, 24 hours goes by, no response. And uh, finally get an email saying that they couldn't secure tickets for us on the bus. So now... We'd already told our hotel that we're staying at that we're leaving tomorrow. And uh, she even gave us a refund on one of our days because there was a miscalculation. We didn't realize that we had paid for an extra day. But whatever. That's another story. Um, so then we started looking online for buses. So the original company I went to was one to go Asia which is where we tried to get the train tickets, where we tried to get the bus tickets, and they contact Vietnam Bus or TravelBus.vn um, to buy the tickets. So I was like, okay, I'll just go directly to TravelBus.vn to buy the tickets. I bought the tickets, got a confirmation, got a ticket for the bus, and the same minute or a minute later, I got an email saying, we have no room on the bus. Um, so, and we'll issue a, a refund. So, oh, we we also got issued a refund for the, the train ticket and the first bus ticket. So, I was like, okay, I'll try ordering a different bus. Ordered a different bus. Got tickets. About five minutes later, Got an email saying, sorry, buses are full. Uh, we'll issue you a refund. So then I tried the next day <laughs> and I ordered tickets. Um, meanwhile, I'm tying up all this, this money ordering these tickets. Like my card got denied because I ordered tickets too much. Um, and they probably thought it was a scam which hopefully it's not. We're still waiting on all that money to come back at us at this point. Um, so order tickets for the next day. Uh, I figure we'll just get a hotel and, you know, whatever. Those tickets got immediately denied, saying, sorry, we don't have any room. So traveling during Tet is very difficult. Uh, so that's one train four buses that we tried and all got denied on so i found another site uh through reddit um sites called this it's a legit site um i just forgot the name right now because i'm tired orders her went on there and looked over the next three or four days and there was nothing like no tickets, no buses, nothing. I mean, we could have took a plane, but a plane is like 24 million to fly. And that's a lot. That's like this much right here. Um, so plane's kind of out of the question for us. We, we can't afford that. We ain't ballers. So I had to go five days out to find the next tickets available and I ordered the tickets got approved and as of now we are confirmed to be riding the train so we got the train tickets but we got five more days to kill um which might go like this to see you guys
come in. I'm gonna walk to the end and see. adjusted before we go in because there's not enough space for everybody to be getting adjusted. Okay, so it's kind of um, kind of a hard mattress, um, <laughs> but it does have a sheet. That's good. Uh, looks like you get a like a towel rack and these like coat racks to hang some things. And it's very warm and muggy in here, but the train hasn't started moving yet. It comes with a pillow. 
and a blanket. And it does look like you have a USB port and There's plug -ins there, um, a light. There's plug -ins. Real plug -ins right there. Does the light work? Let's see. Yeah, mine does. Okay. I'm so excited for our first train ride. This is awesome. So I found a sink. Hi. Um, but I don't see where the toilet is. Here's where the train cars connect. Vietnamese people are so badass, they do everything in sandals. Yeah. Ride motorcycles, fight wars, oh, like... <laughs> take soccer balls. It's 
this is the toilet. I wonder if you're supposed to throw the toilet paper out the window. Kinda dirty. Do you have a butt washer? It's actually got soap. Uh, don't know what this is. Probably a soap dispenser. Uh, AC. Coat rack. And uh, I can actually turn it in here, which is interesting. We are stopped at a station, so I figured I'd come check out the toilet in our car. Alright, so I do think it has a black water tank because it stunk when I flushed it. Oh. Uh, good thing the window's open. <laughs> so that's how we got in here. There's water closets here. There's another washroom here. And hot water. Which is nice. Looks like they're getting the snack cart ready. As you can see in there. That is uh, second class seats. There was a lady selling these little breadsticks for 15K. Uh, they look like they have a little bit of pork in it, but it's mostly just bread. It's kind of hard and crunchy.
Goodbye, train car. groggy it's like seven o'clock in the morning I didn't sleep very good did you sleep okay I got maybe three hours yeah uh, but we gotta figure out what's next we're in Ho Chi Minh City yeah so Charlie's on the map right now figuring out where we are exactly and uh, where we can maybe go find a hotel well that was fun that was so much fun don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.